If your tankless hot water heater is not working, here are some things to check. Tankless hot water heaters work on gallons per minute. The most important thing is making sure that you are not exceeding your gallon per minute capacity. If you notice that you're running a ton of hot water, multiple fixtures running, and then you seem to have an issue, it's definitely gonna be because of gallons per minute. Colder weather will definitely play a factor in it. If it's dead of winter and the water's coming in colder, it's going to tax the system, meaning your gallons per minute drop. And something you wanna pay attention to is the amount of water running, especially in colder weather as well. If it's a matter of not working, you're getting an error code, first thing you usually check is make sure the vent's not blocked up. If it can't get fresh air in, it can't fire and run correctly. If your water's too hot, the first thing you wanna check is your temperature setting. Most te uh, tankless hot water heaters have a digital display that'll tell you what your temperature setting is at. Most people's comfort setting is somewhere around 115 to 125 degrees. The hotter the temperature, the hotter the water, the lower the temperature, the colder the water. If you notice you're having an issue in a specific area of the house, that could be something to do with recirculation or that specific fixture as well. If you're having issues with a sandwich of hot water, what tends to be the cause is your recirculation pump isn't keeping up with the size of the home. Something people tend to do is set a 10 to 20 gallon buffer tank what that is is a stored 10 or 20 gallons of hot water that the tankless can circulate through the system making it to where you don't have a lag of water. Maintenance is really important on any kind of water heater, a tankless especially. Your heat exchanger where the water passes through, it's really important to flush it every six months to one time a year. Maintenance on it just allows everything to run correctly, flow through the unit. If you can't flow water through the unit the way you're supposed to, the flow sensor doesn't kick on telling the unit to heat water the way it should, and so maintenance is definitely very important. If you've done all of the steps here that we've mentioned today and continue to have an issue, um, we're here to help.